What happens if you are faced with a tenant from hell? Have a look at this case. This unit was delivered and handed over in such bad shape. The walls were turned black, the ceiling was turned black. There was a fire in this unit. Now, to top that off, the floor got spoiled. One of the floor had cracks all over the place. When the unit was handed over, some of the doors did not even have their doorknobs. Even the lights, many were fused, many were spoiled. To make it worse, the tenant refused to pay. They even threatened to sue me. So what I did was, I got the landlord to take a case, a small claims tribunal. I told the landlord, you don't have to be there. I will go as your representative and uh, I will meet them. So of course, yes, I won the case. <laughs> the tenant was a corporate client. That's right, it was a nice big company. And here's the most amazing thing. I had told them that this is not the way you should be handing over a house. A house should be given over in a very, very good condition, the same way it was given to them, but they refused to do so. Now, what would you do in this situation? Now, in this situation, there is always the small claims tribunal. So yes, today, you can see the date here. I just went to the small claims tribunal. So here's the situation. The tenant was not happy with the way in which I did the takeover process. And they came with a nice big team. Uh, it was a bit daunting. But here's the good news, guys. The good news is this, right? Um, there's always a way out. So if you ever get into this type of situation, um, there are a few things you can do. You can, uh, you know, you can insist, send a letter of demand to the tenant. Tenant doesn't want to pay, then bring it up to the small claims tribunal. Of course, always go prepared, right? Always go prepared and make sure that you know what you are fighting for and you should be able to get it. Of course, what you can always do as well is to always make sure that you have a very, very good handy property agent who is able to do all this for you. So here is the great news, guys. Every time when you have a tenant, yes, of course, you would be uh, very worried huh, that your house will not be in good condition when you get it back. There will always be some fair wear and tear, but you know, to get it in this type of state, uh, as in this particular house, is really not acceptable and there is always a way out, so do not worry or do not fret. If you are ever in this type of situation, there is always a way out. I hope this video helps you all because this might happen to you and you might not know what to do. 